Hey, man. Hey. Listen, so yeah, Master P is tired of his former artist speaking negatively, negatively about him after leaving No Limit. Now, his comments are inspired by his former artist, Fat Trail. I didn't even know that was his artist. This is a, I didn't know uh, Fat, Trail, Fat Trail was his artist either. Yeah, DMV based. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, we, know. we got some of what he said. Go ahead, roll that for me. If you don't want to be with me, I don't want to be with you. Period. It's almost like in a relationship. Yep. I ain't trying to hold you back. Yeah. And so a lot of these artists, whenever they say they didn't want to be with No Limit or they figure that they could go and move on, I tell their contract up. I ain't took no money from them. Yeah. I let them go. And some of them I didn't even sign contracts with. That's what I call ungratefulness. If you moved on 10 or 15 or 20 years after me, why is you talking about me? Why are we still? Like, I, I forgot. Like, yeah. And so if you look at it, right, who y'all know in this business allow people to go sign with other companies, but they never talk about those other companies after they moved on. They still talking about me. Yeah. And, and another thing is. But it should be a law. After seven years, you shouldn't be allowed to go on no podcast <laughs> and talk about nobody. Think about it. It's a statute of limitation. <laughs> like, please, if, if you ain't been around that person in over seven years, yes. please, you, you don't even deserve to talk about them. I don't care if it was seven years, eleven years. You don't. If you did something I'm to me you. and I have something to say, I'm gonna say it. That's just what it is. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And you're not the only one out here being talked about. We have we got Diddy. People still talking about Diddy. We got that's right. people talking about Mace because what happened to him? They talked about Jay. He's now Jay. Mm -hmm. So many people. So you're not the only person. And basically, it all boils down to this. Fat Trail said that he was promised. By Master P, that he would be put in a Minister Society sequel that never came to fruition. How can Master P do a Minister Society sequel? He never even did the first one or the second one. Now, Master P said he never mentioned making a Minister Society sequel. He wanted to make a movie like Minister, so oh, Minister Society. Okay. Yeah. That and makes he, sense. And he wanted Gucci Man to be in it, but Gucci was getting locked up all the time. Mm -hmm. But. So so he just was like, he put the idea to rest, but Fat Trail was like, yo, you still promised me to be in this movie or whatever. And so he was like, I don't want to be with you no more. Now, I see both sides. Um, Fat Trail, I get it. He like, look, yo, that was like a bit of a timber tantrum to me a mm -hmm. little bit, but I do believe him. I do believe that Master, because that, that, that man will talk a good game to you. Like, even with me, I got the hookup. I'm still owed some bread for that. I'm not gonna you lie. Still to you like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You know, did he saying? pay you at all? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For the first scene, mm -hmm. and then, you know, I mm -hmm. stayed there you for 13 scenes. hours to do two scenes. How much you owe you? But that's not how it works. So I thought you man, get paid for a movie. Don't you get paid for the whole not, movie? I do my scene when it's come to a skit movie like that. Is <laughs> what you know? You know, I got to hook up. It was a long skit. It was a skit. It was, yeah, it was, it was, it was a, a skit. bunch of skits. How much you owe? How much you owe you? I like to charge fifteen thousand per skit. That was a long time ago, though. So your, then, your number done went up since then. Man, it ain't been seven years, so I can still talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I can still talk about this. I don't care. As soon as you give me the check, we'll be good, man. Oh, Jeez. so you was charging him per skit for the movie? Yeah, well, actually, did, did he know scene, that? Yeah, he knew what you talking about. He oh. signed on it. What you talking about? We we signed back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. So he owe you 15 racks? Yeah, I, I try. I hit Romeo. I hit everybody. <laughs> you know? But they got their own problems, so it's a lot going on, you know? So, so I'm going to wait till it die down again. But Fat Trail, I, I get where you're coming from. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, look. This going to be my um. This is gonna be my last time addressing as far as that uh, masterpiece. I just seen a little breakfast club shit. Charlemagne the God and um, Jess, I believe her name is Jess, she's from Baltimore, right? Shout out to Jess. Um, first of all, I ain't throw no temper tantrum, that's first of all. First of all, to address Master P, he talking about uh, bringing his name up and all that. If you saw the No Jumper interview, Adam from No Jumper asked me, I remember a situation where you was dealing with Master P, can you tell us about that? And all I did was tell the truth. I ain't had no temper tantrum or none of that. I didn't even bring Master P name up. We was doing an interview. He asked me about Master P, and I told him the truth. That's first of all. Second of all, all I said was that I was there to do the movie. I wasn't there to make music with Master P. To have a song with Master P, to have a song with Master P is cool and all that. He a legend in the rap game. I respect that. I respect what he did, uh, you know, music-wise, all the records he sold and all that. But I wasn't there to do music. All that he talking about, it should be a, a statute of limitations for to talk about him. And shit. I ain't had Master P on my mind. And he asked me a question and I kept it 100. If I'm going to do an interview with him, he ask me a question. I'm going to keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? But I like how Master P 
didn't address the fact that he put out music with me and Ali Boy on iTunes and he sold albums and he didn't do no contract, no paperwork. He didn't contact no lawyers or nothing. And once again, I was never a no limit artist. We didn't sign no contract. I wasn't in California to be a no limit artist or to do music with Master P. I was out there to do a movie. You know what I'm saying? So all this temper tantrum and all but like I was saying, um, yeah, the never bring, P ain't bring up all that trying to sound fly and all that, uh, you know, oh, I separate. You don't want to be with me no more. If you don't want to be with me. I don't want to be with you. Da, da, da. All that sound fly to, to, to somebody that's dumb, man. We wasn't out there to, to do no music. Ali Boy had already had a deal with Atlantic Records. Ali Boy was shooting videos. His videos was on MTV Jams and all that when we used to chill in the crib. We wasn't out there to do no music with Pete. We was out there strictly for the movie. So I just kept it real with, with no jumping and told him how the whole thing with Master P went down. And that's why a lot of people thought that I was a no limit artist. But I wasn't no, 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 no limit artist. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he put out albums with us on it and he sold it on iTunes and we didn't get paid. And, I don't know if Ali Boy got paid. They never contacted my lawyers. But hey, what I don't like is the fact that a nigga I sound sweet. A nigga I sound fly. Talking about some, it should be a statute of limitations. How long I could talk about you? I'm talking about you, man. Nigga me a question and I, and I answered the question. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and I like how all that out of all that flat he said, you ain't addressed the fact that you put out music and 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 didn't do the proper paperwork and go about uh, about putting these albums out man you're a business man you know when i was a young you know what i'm saying and you know my manager my old manager let me down and all that so it is, it is what it is though but at the end of the day i ain't tell no lie and as far as that hold on that get money I, oh i wanted to make a movie called get money you never uh communicated that to me you told me you was trying to buy the rights or somehow do the rights to Minister Society too or something. I never knew nothing about Gucci Man or none of that. Ali Boy, no, I ain't capping, man. We we talk. Lots of little man, I ain't losing, we eat. I ain't ever go low, we creep. I can buy the designer, no knock we eat. But I stay for the crew and the globby, we eat. I made the top while the four when I feed. No sack with the cars, I read. I thought it was a joke, pulled up in the dean. Trying chains on my neck like a slave of the free. Me eat. Life it get even, it's coming three, with three, three hundred a week, take a look at my feet I'm, I'm picky, just spinning the truck Lord, Lord, your boy, but you been on him Act like a fraud with some bitch, I gon' leave it in, 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 in. Stop out and hit me with ease That shit that I'm smoking, it third of G I'm 